definitely think you're a bit crazy to be doing it on the day you land after Perth. You're going to be different time zone, yeah. jet lagged, yeah. and have worked a night shift. Has this ever been done before, or have you ever done anything like this before? I don't think anyone's ever done this before. I was reading last night, there's a guy who was running for so long he experienced hallucinations and he thought he he thought he was a garbage man. I'm going to be completing a 100k ultra marathon straight after the third longest flight in the world. I'll be waking up and getting ready for the flight at about 6 a.m. London time and then the race is the following day. How I feel after a flight, particularly the Perth to London. Imagine being run over by a truck, reversed over again, run over again, and reversed over again at Qantas. So we actually offer hotel rooms to crew after flights. That's how fatigued you are. There's absolutely <laughs> categorically no way that would ever enter my head. I wouldn't do a 10K, let alone 100K. No. So I've known Aaron for since 2020, our eyes met across an aisle, but it wasn't, it wasn't an aeroplane aisle, was it, Aaron? No, it was no. the aisles of a supermarket. Well, what do I you think, think your motivation is then? The driving force is knowing my why and why I'm doing it and what I'm doing it for. Not raising money for charities this year because I'm mindful also of the cost of living for people. And it was Reagan actually that said, you know, you don't have to raise money but you can continue that conversation. Reagan hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. You know like you can acknowledge somebody's mental health but how do you know what to do with that? Yeah. What they're telling you. Sometimes it's the, like, it's the family carers, friends, it's those people that need additional support as mm -hmm. well to know how to deal with things. We talk about physical health so normally but there's an awkwardness around uh, mental health conversations and if someone is struggling it's okay to talk about it. If someone's got a a strained calf you know that's the physical part the mental part it's okay to have those conversations mm. and i guess that's kind of what i'm trying to do another reason going back to my why and why i'm doing this is why not we are on this earth for what feels like five minutes as well making the most of every moment that you've got don't you... forget your lube your <laughs> oh, yes early on I would compare the UK and I would compare Australia quite often. That was probably the biggest mistake I did when I started to think about, okay, stop comparing, start looking at the good things that the UK has to offer. We all know Australia is a beautiful place, but you know, now, now this is home and I appreciate everything that it has. I think it's amazing. I think it's for a really good cause. Yeah. Um, I mean, like it's hard enough doing a 17 hour flight as a passenger. You get off the plane feeling so groggy, um, yeah. but let alone like working it and being on your feet for that long um, and then getting off and doing a run. Holly's always putting me through my paces in classes. So yeah, she's always- Yeah, Aaron does around. work hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, big fella. Oh. How you doing? I'm good. You good? I'm doing? Nice to see you, mate. You well? Not bad, not bad to you. Running shoes on as just, always. Yeah, absolutely. Got some big races coming up. 100k. Um, Is this the London to Brighton? Yeah. 18 yeah. hours? Nah, come on, mate. I'm not that slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's been tough, like literally training through winter, through rain, hail. Been swimming a lot, strength training as well. When I used to PT years and years yeah. ago, a lot of people would, you know, how do I get better at running? It's like, do your running, but do some weight training along it. Yeah. You know, how do I get better at cycling? Well, a lot yeah. of cyclists don't have strong enough cores. Do you think part of it is that mental attitude? I'm running six minutes 30 per kilometre, which is a job. It's more mentally challenging. I need to fuel my mind. I remember you saying when you used to have like yeah. small blocks of cheese to start yeah. off with. And then as the race goes on, then it starts to jelly beans. Yeah. And then it goes to liquids later. All the blood goes away yeah. from your digestive system to your muscles. So you're not digesting the food that you've got in there already. Yeah, yeah. So you, you get to a point where you just can't eat anymore. Your first step on a fitness journey is always yep. hardest at the beginning because you don't really know what to do. Yeah. Once you get that training pattern in, yeah. then all of a sudden that training pattern 
you can see the progression. Once you see the progression, then you can see the goal. Then the goal becomes achievable. Yeah, absolutely. At the moment, for me, I've never been a fan of running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just deadlift. The so, oh. thing is, if there was a ball in front of it, yeah, I'll be yeah. fine. 100k with a football <laughs> in front, I'll probably be okay. Running itself, it's always been a massive part of my life, whether it was track and field or cross country. I've kind of become obsessed with getting better at whatever I do. You know, I don't believe in doing anything half-heartedly. It's uh, something that I'd say a, a lot of ultra runners can probably relate to is becoming a little bit obsessed, whether it's healthy or not, with challenging yourself uh, physically and mentally. So let's talk about the, the CME colours then. So these colours are a result of all of the work, work Carl Jung did uh, in terms of psychology and psychological preference. So yellow is at the top and yellow represents that extroverted, outgoing, sociable, yeah. pulsive. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Dare I say impulsive. Uh. Um, then followed yeah. by the green, which actually leans a little bit more into reflection. And then the red is that kind of like gung-ho, let's yeah. just do it. Yeah. Um, and blue, which is your lowest, is all about detail, which is no yes. surprise. You no, haven't thought this through at all. Yeah, get rid of that, Brittany. Yeah, get Don't rid of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> the blue. Um, but Typical. actually, you know, jump straight into it and, and really go for it. And then the yeah. reasons you're doing it go straight into the green. Yeah. Um, it's a perfect um, a match. I would be amazed if anybody was surprised based on your profile so, that you've chosen to do it. Obviously, this race is a lot about me. Um, Again, that's in your profile. <laughs> yeah, 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 naturally. I don't want to make that flight about me at all. It's about my team, it's about my customers. Who are you looking to to give you any kind of insight into uh, how to do this? Now, no one's probably ever done this before, but there's so many challenges out there that people have completed, whether it's two, 300 mile runs or different types of challenges that are physically and mentally challenging yourself. But I draw inspiration from these endurance athletes and uh, what they're physically and mentally capable of. Well, yeah. if anyone can do it, yeah. Aaron can. <laughs> yeah. Bring it so, in, good luck. Thanks mate, appreciate it. Ah, so you're at the finish lines? <laughs> no, not coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so many people in the past have inspired me to do things and they're the type of people that I appreciate and it's people with that change mindset you know when they're kind of faced with challenges they don't complain about them they ask themselves four words what can I do that's exactly what I do in a race